Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of Chinese chip. The future chip road will no longer be developed based on the traditional path, because it is becoming more and more difficult to break through the nanoprocess below 3 nanometers and ASML's EUV lithography machine is almost reaching the ceiling. In response to the development of chip manufacturing technology, domestic research on small chips has been carried out and relevant standards have been released. After that, good news came from the 4 nanometers chip. What's going on? Can small chips continue the development of Moore's law? Small chip standard release and 4 nanometers chip packaging ice breaking. The semiconductor industry chain has been developing in accordance with traditional process technology. Silicon materials are used to cooperate with chip manufacturers' processes coupled with lithography equipment provided by manufacturers, such as ASML, to manufacture chips in a fixed production process. Although large-scale mass production of chips can be achieved, the needs of all walks of life around the world can be guaranteed. However, in the pursuit of performance, the existing technology has reached a bottleneck, and if we want to go further, we need innovative breakthroughs. The small chip may become the future chip development path. The small chip is to interconnect the bare chips that meet specific functions, realize more functions, and exert greater performance benefits. With the help of small chips, chip manufacturing technology can continue to expand with diversified solutions, reducing chip manufacturing costs. Based on this, international giants such as Intel, TSMC, Samsung, and NVIDIA have entered into small chips and formed the UCI alliance, intending to formulate standards for the interconnection of small chips. However, China also has its own standards for small chips. The small chip interface bus technical requirements, jointly formulated by more than 60 domestic companies and industry experts, was officially released. Under this requirement, it is necessary to establish a standard framework for advanced packaging technology, electronic aided design tools and testing technology, and former field process integrating design, manufacturing packaging, testing, EDA, and other industries. What needs to be known is that small chips are essentially a packaging concept, so most of the technology promotion needs to be carried out in the advanced packaging industry, which plays a self-evident role in the development of the domestic packaging industry. The good news is that after the release of the China Chip Standard, Domestic manufacturers have received good news about 4 nanometers chips. According to JCET, the company has realized the 4 nanometers process of mobile phone chip packaging and has cooperated with customers in chip and packaging design. JCET is a domestic integrated circuit company that has mastered system integration packaging design capabilities. Now it can realize 4NM level chip packaging technology, which is undoubtedly good news. Some foreign media said, too fast. Perhaps in the eyes of some people, the importance of packaging is not as important as manufacturing, because packaging technology is nothing more than installing manufactured chips in terminal equipment, just like stacking ready-made bricks on the wall to build a complete wall. There is no difficulty. But if you think about it carefully, if there is no good stacking level, how to achieve the stability of the wall, 
wouldn't it just fall down as soon as you push it? In the same way, if the chip wants to play a corresponding role in the terminal equipment, the packaging technology is also indispensable. What's more, when chip manufacturing technology is facing the limit of Moore's law, more and more performance breakthroughs are beginning to focus on the packaging industry. Now that domestic standards have been established for packaging technologies, such as small chips, and the news that JCET's 4 nanometers chip packaging has broken the ice, it proves that the domestic packaging industry is ushering in another situation. Can small chips continue the development of Moore's law? Chip manufacturing technology is inseparable from the support of TSMC and Samsung, and it also needs ASML, applied materials and other semiconductor equipment suppliers to provide equipment. The development of packaging technology is another industry chain. It requires integrated circuit companies such as Changdian Technology, and it is also inseparable from the support of subsequent packaging lithography machines. In short, the packaging industry will become the development direction of the industry in the future, so can the small chips in this industry continue to develop according to Moore's law? The answer is obvious. Moore's law is the idea that the number of transistors the chip can hold doubles every two years. If Moore's law stops, it means that the chip can no longer continue to increase the transistor density, and the number can only be maintained at the level of human technology. Either increase the area of the chip, or continue to explore innovative technologies. In contrast, the latter appears to be more reliable. If the performance is improved simply by increasing the chip area, how to solve the problem of power consumption, and in limited smart devices such as smartphones, it is impossible to provide a larger area for the chip, otherwise the meaning of technological progress will be lost. The small chip is likely to become a technology that continues the development of Moore's law. With the improvement of standards in the industry, a large number of ecological participants will surely welcome a large number of ecological participants to support the industrial progress of the small chip. Of course, in this process, the domestic small chip technical standards and the foreign UCIE alliance will not have too much conflict. The two parties are not in a competitive relationship, but a complementary industry ecology. No matter what kind of standard it is, its purpose is to create a more complete ecosystem of small chips. Since the goals are the same, win-win cooperation is the best result. China has formulated a small chip standard, and it remains open. From the standard protocol to the realization of the technology, it will be provided to industry participants. Under such a standard system, the corresponding enterprises can have traces to follow when developing small chips, so as not to take detours. This may bring more opportunities to chip packaging companies, it depends on how to grasp it. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share. Thank you for watching.